And today, we're here to celebrate a great success on natural gas and uh, a part of our energy portfolio, which President Obama and I are fully supported of, supportive of. And the partnership that we see here today with uh, not only the oil and gas community, but also with the conservation community, tells us that we can do both, that we can develop uh, the energy resources of the nation, and at the same time, that we can make sure that we are uh, taking the conservation measures that are so important to the future of our country, so important to tourism, and important to the conservation legacy of the United States. In the State of the Union Address, President Obama made it clear that our country needs an all of the above energy strategy that develops every available source of American energy, a strategy that is cleaner, cheaper, and generates new jobs for Americans and economic vitality for American communities. Since day one, when the President uh, swore me in to be the Secretary of Interior, we have been working to accomplish that strategy, and today's announcement is another significant step forward. U.S. gas production is now at an all-time high, and oil production is at an eight-year high. Oil production is at an eight-year high. Total oil production from federal lands and waters has increased 13 percent during the first three years of this administration. It's an increase of 13 percent during the first three years of this administration. Now, America's dependence on foreign oil has gone down every single year since President Obama took office. We have cut net imports by 10 percent, or a million barrels a day in the last year alone. So if you think about the last year alone, 2011, we were able to cut imports by a million barrels of oil a day. Imagine what a million barrels of oil a day would look like if you had them stretched out here behind me today in Salt Lake City, Utah. That's because we are becoming a much more energy independent nation with the kinds of efforts that we are undertaking throughout the United States, both onshore on federal lands, onshore on private lands, as well as offshore in the waters of the United uh, States. America's uh, efforts on renewable energy are also noteworthy because we have doubled the renewable energy production in the United States over the last three years. On public lands, under the great leadership and inspiration of Director Abbey and his team, we are well on our way to meeting the President's goal of permitting 10,000 megawatts of large-scale renewable energy power by the end of this year. These projects are geothermal, solar, and wind projects that we see springing up throughout the West. All of these trends show the gathering strength of America's energy economy, and we continue to offer millions of acres of America's public lands for energy development, working collaboratively on projects like the one we will be approving today in a few minutes that will bring strength to the economy in Utah and across the country and will increase America's energy security. Today we are taking a major step forward in this project uh, for the Greater Natural Buttes Gas Development Project. This project, which was proposed by Anadarko Petroleum Corporation and uh, its subsidiary Kermagee, could produce more than six trillion cubic feet of natural gas over its life and support more than 4,000 American jobs during the different phases of development. This project could bring more than 3,600 new wells to the Uenta Basin over the next decade while safeguarding air quality and assuring the protection of critical wildlife habitat and outdoor recreation values. Let me repeat that again. 3,600 new wells in the Uenta Basin over the next decade. That will produce a significant amount of natural gas that will help power the American economy, will bring jobs to Utah, and jobs that are spread throughout the United States. This development will infuse millions of dollars, we know, into Uenta County and other local Utah communities and will become part of our nation's comprehensive energy portfolio. The decision today exemplifies the kind of progress we are making in support of the administration's all of the above energy strategy. According to industry experts, natural gas development in America could support more than 600,000 jobs by the end of the decade. From before President Obama was president as president-elect, we spoke about the importance of uh, natural gas. And in those days, what we were supportive of and still continue to be supportive of a pipeline from Alaska that will be bring in uh, some of the abundant, abundant resources and natural gas from Alaska down to the lower 48. Technology and our efforts on energy have also now produced the largest estimates that we have for natural gas in the United States in the lower 48. We believe that we have enough natural gas to power the economy for the next 100 years. 
So there's been huge progress and technology and industry uh, have really made that uh, have really made that possible. Now in 2011 US natural gas production grew by more than 7%. That was the largest year over year increase in the history of natural gas. Steps like the one that we're taking today here in Utah will help us make sure that this amazing progress can in fact continue into the decade ahead. Perhaps even more impressive is a collaboration among the federal agencies, industry, the conservation community, and our state, local, tribal, and other partners to bring an environmental responsible approach to these energy initiatives. The world today should stand back and just simply say, wow, how did they do this? How did the oil and gas community led by Anna Darko and the county commissioners and the tribes come together with the environmental community to allow this project to go forward in a way that it has the kind of support that you see here today. It truly is one of those moments where this effort has created a template for what ought to be happening around the development of our oil and natural gas resources around the United States of America. In line with the President's direction that we coordinate the efforts across federal agencies so that we are having a government that works as opposed to a government that keeps stripping over each other. We have worked very closely with the Fish and Wildlife Service, uh, the EPA and Administrator Lisa Jackson and uh, her uh, de Deputy uh, Bart Bob Perciusepe, the uh, Hopi tribe and numerous stakeholders to develop the final environmental impact statement that addressed the public concerns, embraced public su suggestions and took a, took a balanced approach to energy development. As a result, this project encompasses approximately 163,000 acres and will bring new surface disturbance to just 5% of the area. So just 5% of the area, but we'll be able to develop 163,000 acres, only 5% will be disturbed. The project, importantly, will protect crucial big winter range habitat, which is so important to the hunters uh, who are such an important part of the economy of Utah and this country. The project will also protect sage grouse and uh, sage grouse habitat, sensitive soils, visual effects and recreational use. The BLM has clo worked closely with uh, Anadarko, with EPA and the conservation groups to successfully resolve potential air quality issues at the front end of the development. This is very much a root of the philosophy which Bob Abbey as director of the BLM has brought to this agency. And that is that we ought to be smart from the start. And we ought to find ways of deconflicting issues before they become issues that send us down the road of, of litigation. Collaboration is vital to successfully leasing, developing, uh, and developing oil and natural gas resources in a thoughtful and balanced way. Especially noteworthy, again, is the cooperation of Anadarko and the conservation groups, which announced a tentative agreement that would provide protections for the remarkable White River area while allowing Anadarko to access energy resources. In this agreement with the Southern Utah Wilderness Alliance, Anadarko agreed to limit the number of wells in and around the wilderness quality lands of the White River, leading to the creation of conservation easements along lands surrounding segments of the river. The Greater Natural Buttes Project proves that successful co collaboration not only protects our environment and safeguards air quality, but also encourages responsible domestic oil and gas production. So today's uh, record of decision, which uh, we will be signing in just a few minutes, and it will allow this project to move forward for the development of these 3,600 wells on these 163,000 acres is a historic milestone, uh, not only for Utah, uh, but also for the nation.